All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're good to go. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, no, do. Oh, no, do. Oh, no, do. Oh, no, do. No good. All right. This is Sociology 101. Sociology 101, people. This is basically a study. This, has, this is an objective take. Um, so please understand that I am not here to speak on any verdict. I'm not here to speak on any plea. I'm not here to speak on the um, the parts of the case that um, so many of you um, already read about. Um, I'm here to speak on the speech, the speech that Brother Blackman gave. See? That is what I want to speak on. And why I want to speak on the speech? Um, I, I, I saw I saw a lot of um, people on social media. Um, Pronounce him or, or, or diagnosing him as a, as, a, as a madman or plain fool or, um, you know, he has no sense and so forth and so on. You know, people, um, when they cannot understand something, of course, they are going to um, look at it that way. But I think, personally, I think this is a good study. Um, so with... That said, I want to dig into it a little bit. So if we can look at it uh, more from the depth than, 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 than from, a, you know, from the surface. Because I think what most people are looking at, most people are looking at the surface. Yeah? And I, 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 I was taught not to just run with the surface reasoning. I love looking to, you know, things on a different level. You understand what I say? More understand, more a better understanding. You see what I say? No. Um, there are some things that stood out to me in terms of the, um, the intelligence from Brother Blackman. Yeah. There is a level of intelligence that I think a lot of us have missed. And, and please note that, again, we're not speaking on this by, yeah, supporting criminality or anything like that. See, we're speaking on the speech. We are at the speech. May I go say it again? May I go say it again? We are speaking about the speech. See? Yeah. So please exercise some discipline. And let us speak about the speech. May I talk about the speech, Bridget? See? So, Mr. Blackman, you know, Brother Blackman started out by saying, um, he doesn't care about the sentencing. Yeah? When asked if he is prepared to speak on the sentencing, he said he didn't care about the, um, the sentencing. The um, I don't know. I don't know who it is or who it was that asked the questions, but the individual that asked him further asked um, um, if he was clear on what he wanted to speak about um, in terms of giving him advice that you are not qualified to speak on this matter, and he said, maybe to the eyes. The answer is basically saying, yeah, just looking at me or looking at the person, you may think that I'm not qualified to speak in this capacity, right? So that was when the person asked him, what do you have to say about the sentencing? He said he didn't care about the sentencing, right? So he prefaced by saying, 
I didn't have any subject. Yeah. But I have. I know about oneness and consciousness. That is where we're at. He knows about what? Oneness, oneness and consciousness. Now many people who are calling him mad, insane, um, he's running to God now, all of them things there, whatever. It's because you don't understand. You don't understand the meaning of consciousness. You don't understand the meaning of oneness because you're looking at it from a surface point of view. You're looking at the surface. You're not looking at the metaphysical part of it. See? You're not looking at the allog allegorical part of the reasoning. See? So he said he didn't have any subject, but he has consciousness. Right? And oneness. That is what he knows about. He made a very salient point by saying, and I paraphrase, the motto out of many one people, you cannot have one with people. That's something to think about. The motto out of many one people, he said you cannot have one with people. Why? One of the reasons, one is singular, people, plural. But why did he say that? Why did he say something so vague? You're like, you're a fool, say my chat, say no, 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 my chat, my chat, but. Him just showing you that people will say anything and it just fly. In my view, in my inference. He's just telling you that, yo, people say things and we just run with it. Is that him saying? He must say a thing like out of many, one people, and we run with it and we accept it. So he's basically telling you that, yo, people, in my view, right, in my understanding, because you may have a different understanding, a different inference. He's basically saying, yo, the fact that them can't have this and we work with it. Then that means that we will work with anything. That is the reason why I say, him deal with oneness and consciousness. Remember again, people, let me reiterate, I'm not talking about why I'm guilty of me not, me not, me, that I'm, that I'm, that's not what I'm doing here. I'm speaking on the speech. So I'm basically tell us, yo, Zin, him even said, him say, just be aware that people say anything loosely. Is he wrong? Him wrong? Out of many, one people, him no wrong. You see? Him say, I'm reading the Bible a lot. Him read the Bible a lot, sorry, not in Bible. Him read the Bible a lot and um, him realize that whatever is happening is just an experience. Right? Him say, I find it interesting, intriguing, Based on the things they said about him, how much things I have ordered, how many men I extorted, paraphrasing, but the time is now. Again, back to the matter, and him just say people say things loosely and people just accept whatever. You see? He said there is no I. I doesn't exist. What do you mean by that? He said, there is no I. I doesn't exist. I, I does not exist. See? Quoting. He said, I in the English language is a subject. And no one can subject the soul back to consciousness. Remember, I said, we learn from Paul, you know. We used to kill off Christian according to the Bible, right? So if we learn from Paul, we can learn from this, you know. And that's what me really do, you know. I don't know what you do, you know. But if we don't learn from Paul, and give Paul half of the New Testament. 
I want to say Paul used to walk and kill off people. Then maybe we can learn from this too. Because I learned some things. You see? I always remember that. So what that means is you can learn from a baby. And you can learn from a giant. I wonder if you understand that. The man said, I is a subject and a soul. Right? You can't subject the soul. He went on to say, us is basically dealing with objects. You see? And the soul is not an object. Why the soul is not an object? Because it, because it is not material. I wonder if you realize what I'm going on this one. So when he said, I does not exist. He must say, yo, him is not material. You're looking at the material. You're looking at the, the um, earthly things. You're looking at objects and su subjects. He's not there. He must tell us, yo, his consciousness surpassed that. So he say, this way you see, no exists because he must deal with the soul according to what is my inference. Can I leave room for say and I really that him I mean uh, that he mean. But based on him saying the soul is not an object, that is accurate. Because it is not material. Again, we learn from Paul. See? Millions of people around the world learn from Paul. And I him them the half of the New Testament too. We learn from Paul to the point where I tell women that they can't preach. We learn from Paul to the point where I say one man for have one wife and all them something there. What about things we learn from Paul? So if we learn from Paul, we can learn from black man too. Again, this is about the speech. See? About the speech, right? Him get real deep in my opinion when him start talking about started talking about Genesis one. I mean, I don't know how much I want to take time out to go look it up. When he mentioned face means presence, and darkness means blood. You see? What that mean? He said the earth was without, without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. What do you mean by that? What is he saying there? Darkness, blood, face, presence. Maybe my mind I go too far to preach on that or to in for that or to tell you what I think. So I go leave that until I further explain maybe at a later time or a later time. But just see what you can get from that zine. What I gather from it, I will not speak on it. Yeah? To keep it neutral. See? He also said, God went down and confused the tongues of the people that were there build the Tower of Babel. Or Babel, if you rather. Genesis 11, 7. See? He said, God went down and confused them tongues because what? The tongues. Yeah? were corrupted. We'll get back to that part there with the tongues and the corruption and the language and the corruption. We'll get back to that part there. You see? Him said the chief which is I think the the, the, the called in the, the, the judge the chief he said the chief stated that the main thing in a case is identification. 
The main thing in a case is identification. And he went on to say something that many of you may have missed. That's the reason why you're saying he's running to God, but you missed it. He says, now is the time to identify their God. Not his God. Their God. I wonder if you realize what I'm just saying. Him say, the chief said, identification is the main part of the case. See? The main thing in that case is identification. Then he went on to say, it's time to identify who is their God. In the beginning, blood covered the face of the earth, the presence is the presence coming with bloodshed? I don't know. Leave that alone. <laughs> Leave that alone. But who are identify their God? They're just trying to identify their God based on what the speaker said. The speaker. See? Nobody get mad with me because he was speaking. See? In the second in the second part of his speech, he quoted some Bible verses. Jeremiah three fifteen, Psalms one nineteen, one oh four, Jeremiah one eighteen, Psalms eighty two fifth verse five. And he's stressing understanding. He started his second day out and by saying he will be sharing knowledge. And these Bible verses that he Quoted Jeremiah Psalms um, speaks on understanding and precepts. Zin? He said, I'm a principle of consciousness. And what is he conscious about? He's conscious about freedom. That they speak of in the justice system. We are supposed to be free. And he's supposed to be the most dangerous person in Jamaica. He said, I saw a statue. The Statue of Liberty in the water. Not on the land. The Statue of Liberty is supposed to represent what? Freedom, right? He said it's in the water. The laws that govern the sea are different laws that govern, govern the land. So is there any freedom on the land if the statue is in the water and is dealing with maritime law? And you have to piece everything together enough. You know, it makes sense, you know. Again, you might deal with consciousness. So I must say, yo, this freedom and everything now, and me are, the, me are the worst person on earth, in my view. Zane. But there is still no freedom. Zane. He then pointed to the reptile in the courtroom. And he did not sugarcoat. He was direct. He pointed to the reptile and the coat of arms. And he said, every day I come into this court, I have to bow to that reptile that is over your head. Hallelujah, Jesus. You learn from Saul, return Paul. You can learn from him too. Oh, he might glorify a bad man. He might glorify a gangster. A friend he might look. When the girl go serve him time for him. De -de 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 -de. You learn from Paul. The Apostle Paul. You can learn something here so too.
The man said, every time I come into this courtroom, I have to bow down to that rep. It's the, more, the most profound thing out of all of the reasoning. At that part, they hit me. Boop in my chest. Remember, you say, I'm a madman, you know. Remember, you say, I'm not a sense, you know. But the man, I tell you, say, everybody will come through that door, they have to bow down to that reptile. Don't him ask, you say. Don't him tell you, say, excuse me. He might go identify who is their God. Are they in the court? The man said, every time, the man said, they say, we must only bow to the Almighty. However, if we are bow to the reptile when we walk through the court door, who is God? What a profound piece of reasoning, people. Who is God, Hannibal? Who is their God? He spoke about the woman Eve and Kane Karabak in the garden with the basket and the reptile. What it in the court? The same reptile with them Eve in the garden. When the world we are living in sin. We still have got through the courtroom and whether you are going to fit as a defendant or you're going there as a complaint, you have to bow. And everybody, the police, everybody have to go in there. I'm mean, going to go see it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. God bless the queen and everybody bow. And the man said, that over your head, Mr. Judge, your honor, your highness, chief, me have to bow to that. But yet still I tell me, say, God is the highest, I'm God Almighty, God and them something there. So the man said, I could find out who are them God. Again, you learn from Paul. And you learn from David too. David will kill off the man and take away man's wife. And David was a man of God's own heart, according to the Bible. And you learn from him. You learn from Lot. With sex of him, two daughters of them. He is without sin, cast the first stone. And that one tell me when I tell you that I and some rapey people and pit me a foreign. Or molest the people and pit me a foreign. Let me correct myself. And that one tell me say, you know, a man who can molest a little boy and say, he is, without, he, he, who, he, who is without sin, cast the first stone. What I want to fling right now, no? Fling from black man and lick him down and bust up him head. Go down to the courthouse, go demonstrate and all kind of thing and say, yo. When I go fling some stone, the whole of head bust up too. Because the whole of full of sin too. Oh, he might attack good for bad people. He might look friendly, he might go join the gang. No, I speak on it because what? Well, I qualified. That's how I learn it. You see what I say? And it may not make any sense to you. Facts. But you can come up with your own inference on it too. But I know say, one thing I know say, are true. When you go through the courthouse, you have to bow down to the reptile. But over the judge's head. Man, point it out. Boom! Point it out. Boom! Eve with a little basket. <laughs> the reptile at temper. <laughs> right in the courthouse. In the heart of the justice system. Remember what he said? Corruption. God went down and confused them tongue. Confused them language. Yeah. Them language get corrupted. In my view, the man I tell us say Hannibal is a corrupted system. The man I tell us say you know, the man I say you're the same reptile that we make we all we are living in a sin and all kind of wickedness are going on the land. You know, it don't have me a bow down to you know. What if we don't realize what people not see what going? On a on a on a on a on a realize what going? A man say. On a realize what a man say. Brother, you must have you don't you don't realize what a man say. Man say, I don't know we are bow down to. And that, remember saying, you know, the people them bow down to the golden calf and Moses come down, come slew them, you know, according to the Bible again, you know, because them down there worship a golden calf, you know, but we are bow down to the reptile when we go through the courthouse. And I say, oh yeah, oh yeah, we used to say, God bless the queen, man, and if two she dead, no, we stop saying it. A sheep, them have a bow, and everybody have to do them something like the English, them, and bow. And we still a call people lord my lord in the courtroom go listen back to the, the, the recordings my lord 
So every time you're in your church and I jump up and I say, Oh Lord, my Lord, my Lord, 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 Lord. Who are you calling? The man asks you, Who is your God? The man tell us, I could identify who is their God. Is it? Yep. Yep. But then he went on to say, God alone exists. Which is the consciousness. <laughs> He's back at consciousness. God alone exists. Because remember, so the man don't tell us that consciousness he might deal with that him subscribe to consciousness. So he said, God alone exists. So you're like, yo, man, go from this to this and go back. No, he said, God alone exists. He don't tell you who is dear God. He might go tell you about him now. If we can genderize them. So he might go tell you about him now. Straight. <laughs> And him no beat around the bush. He might tell you who is I. The man said, one done. The man said, the done attack. Everybody run with it. Yo, star. The man has, you see the man confess. Yeah, you might the done star. You might see me. Tell, yo. A robot man get excited. and yeah, Start. Get excited. Please himself. Kai man said, Kula me tell us ya ima de dan. Da, 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 da. Man said, one dan. Any other dan a clarin dan. Fly over everybody head. Man say, one dan, you know. <laughs> one dan. You must say, man go a quote and say, the man get, the man get sentenced. See, the man get sentenced. I know stand up at the quote and say, one dan. He's like, yo, my youth, a sentence, my sentence, you know, bossy. Pass the magi your hundred years. The man passed that already, man. The man passed the physical already, man. The man not deal the physical no more. The man outside of the physical people. The man say one done. The done talking. A who attack? Man say one done. The done talking. But watch this now. Type back now. The teacher talking. Now I'm saying, God is the teacher. Realize we're just, we're just going, right? Man said, God is the teacher. Who attack? The God status demand the man. What that means? Him not have no fear. You see, fear. Fear leads to control. You see, again, you know, we are learned from the, the speech, you know. We know they have to talk about what the man do when guilty of all this something. I don't have the case file on that. So all of the lag ahead them, we're gonna run go say we are support criminality and all them something. There. Be my guest. We're speaking on the speech. Very objectively. That is what we are doing. You see? That is what we are doing, right, Hannibal? Right? Right, Rick Stam? We are speak on the speech. The speech. When a man elevates himself in consciousness to God's status, there is no fear in him. Because he's no longer afraid of what he can do to the physical. I learn where I learn, though. So, much, so, much, so many of us, especially as black people, we are living in fear. And we, we let ourselves become so stagnant in fear, are so drenched in fear, where we cannot elevate to our God self. Because we are even afraid to call ourselves gods. If we are called ourselves God, we put one little bean in G because we are afraid to put ourselves as a capital G God. Because we say, yeah, we are blasphemed. Because somebody taught you that. But remember, so the man tell us say, the tongues were corrupted from the Tower of Babel. Because we are going to we, we, we connect it. You know? The man has said, the tongues are corrupted by the earth. You know? so if the tongues are corrupted by the earth. You know? That means enough of you are here. That's propaganda. And fear mongering. So you are afraid to elevate your God status. You see? 
And man, I'm going to say, yo, we be a people, him killing him, a wicked and him, a murderer. Oh, how if he come, come be God? But again, him tell us, eh, him no exist in the physical. And the same day. So how you go compete with him if you're stuck in the physical? How you go go up against him if you're stuck in the physical? You see that when I teach you them, we are teaching you them for just living in a fear, and people been teaching us for years you know, to live in a fear, fear this, fear that, fear God, fear that, fear everything. So we're afraid, afraid, we're afraid and end up in a slavery because we stop fight because people come and tell us, say, yo, people start show with things and say, yo, see that man there? You know, we're going to do this to him, we're going to rape that one day, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, we're going to rape we and all of them things. And the, the, the colonizers them just do them things and drive fear into us. So we start living in fear. So instead of we stand up and fight, instead of fight, we flight or we flee. And yeah, it's a fight or flight scene, so we flee. You see? So that are the, the thing now, when you, when you feel to reach your God status, you're afraid of the flesh. This is a must, you know. This have to go back to the earth, you know. All of this, you know. The physical must go back to the earth one day, you know. A little baby born. And a little bacteria, the baby going back to the earth. Yes, so when I say, I walk across the road, boom, people are flying a plane. So this is a must. This is something with, that is a part of the process of, of this journey. See? So anytime you start living for the physical, you're living in a fear. And fear breathes, breathes control. So as so people control you, they use religion and control you. They use a system of politicians and control you because you're living in fear. You fear a jail, you fear a death, you fear, 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 everything. So they start fear your own self. So even your shadow start frightening you. And because you're so fearful, and what them do? They spread a lot of fear. Even on the internet, even these videos that you're, that you're, that you're seeing them posting. You understand that you're listening to the videos and my teacher say, yo, you must be the most fearful person living in Jamaica. But fear breeds control. Because when a person knows that you're so in fear, they might have more control over you. Even, even a Dan. If a Dan knows everybody in the community afraid of him. And they say, I'm going to rule. And they say, I'm strong. He knows that everybody afraid of him. He knows that everybody afraid for dead. He knows that he can't do this, he can't do that, he can't do whatever to keep you under control. So when you elevate yourself to a God status now, nobody can't do nothing. You're not afraid of nothing. You're not afraid for what they call death. Remember again, you know, we I learned from anybody, you know. Could have fool fool like L.A. Lewis, my little brother. We I drive down the wrong side of the road and I'm telling him, say, wrong, him across me. And him know, say, I'm right. Him know, me right. <laughs> what all him me learn from? My brother that. My general, my servants, <laughs> yeah. So how you go compete with darkness if you're living in a fear? If you don't elevate your God status, if you deal with the blood, we are cover the presence, we are cover the face of the earth. How you go deal with it if you are living in a fear? Why them still a control we? Why are we still under control? Why are we still have to go in our quotas because bow down to the, the reptile? Why them tell you lie? So we have freedom when they put the freedom in the water. Ask yourself them question. Eh? What kind of God them serve if they have put a reptile for you bow down to? What they have been doing to you? Condition your mind. Condition your consciousness. You can't find it. And as soon as somebody speak anything conscious, you write them off as mad. Come hear people and say, "Ima go, you know. Ima go. I ma play fool forget sympathy. Oh, I'm gonna play fool forget sympathy. And I tell you, say, "Ima de dan." How am I gonna play fool and play mad? When the man turn up and say, "Me a de dan," and me influence them. So I'm a play fool. Oh, you missed that. But you are one now. Speaking of influence, the man hit them again. The man said, The teacher is God. Me are God in my view. So me are God. We are influence them. Just like oh, fool no God are influence uno. For do all of them wickedness here. Yeah. Uh, have we are bow down to all kind of reptile, all kind of sitting. 
to keep in our lower self because once you are bow, you are going to stay in your lower self. You are going to be trapped in your lower self. You can't elevate. Your pitney them come same thing. Your pitney pitney them come same thing. Trapped in your lower self. So the man say, yo, the teacher is God. And I mean influence them. Who is them? They are the accused. And the informants. The man say, I mean influence all of them. Because they all see the physical. That the man say. They know nothing. They want to look at the physical. They want to can deal with what the eyes can see. According to what he said. So the man say. So if me influence all of them, why all of them never get pardoned? Like I want to pardon them one they were me influenced to. That the man ask, you know. The man said, how oh, comes all of them never get pardoned? How do just blame me, the God, where I influence them? That the man ask the system loudly, boldly. The man ask them straight. Man say, I don't know who have the authority to pardon them, but how comes on the pardon the next one? They were me influenced. Man say, I am a well filled with water. Paraphrasing. I am well. And I'm a being. Zin. You know, so water is the most important element. So, man, I should say, yo, he's well informed about who he is. If you want to deem him as darkness, how you want to deem him to be light, him know who he is. He might identify who he is if we can generalize them as him. Because there is no gender when you're dealing with immaterial. Just like oh God now have no gender. Him, 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 him. He, 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 he. You see? So man say, yo, he's well being. So him say, everything on us right now, you see, him well know, he's a knowledge, of, he's a wealth of knowledge. So he knows that none of this is real. He said, none of this is not real. It's just an experience. All of us have lived an experience on the earth here. Yeah. Everything is just an illusion. Everything is an illusion. So man say, no, say, this is just an experience. Just like an experience where all of us are up on the earth here. Yeah. All of us are go through that experience here. Yeah. You see? So I'm saying, yo, I'm well being. He's a well being. Loaded. And then him rock. Everybody's belief. Just as them things say. Eh? He may go class him and I close him eyes. What him say? Just as him get ready for pray for him. And everybody are lying up to put them on to lay hands on him. What him to? Because everybody are going to come say, Yo, God, I go change him. Jesus, I go change him. Pray for him. The man just make them know straight up lady and say, I know no Jesus. What him know? Common sense. But them now go take that speech and put it together and teach you nothing about it. Because quote unquote is a criminal. But them teach about Paul doctrine. That, and he was a wicked a criminal. Can you see those who can't cut off innocent people head for no reason? Through them I worship Jesus. You see? Without being influenced by politicians are placed. Like by politicians to carry out them dirty deeds. 
So why I'm asking say why when I lock up them youth there? When I me influence them. Where am I go? Where am I go with that? Him have you think? Because see, all of them places, all of them garrison, all of them things I want to see are going. It not start with just him people. That's him the consciousness. It not start with just him. So outside of the physical, where his strength is, is where his strength is, in my view. I just say attack from people. Outside of the physical. But maybe I don't understand it, and this is going to sound like foolishness to you too. But one thing for sure though, he was right about so many things. One more thing when him hit me. Him hit me. And if you don't want to accept it, you just cover, I suffer from cognitive dissonance. If you can accept this. Man say, man ask what time it is? Why time are you? Man say, 10 past 12. And that them tell us at the time, you know. The man said, no. They told you some numbers. Nothing is real. It's just a perception. And that the man say, you know. A lie? Who created time? That a man can look and tell us some numbers. Man say, man, tell us some numbers and say, at that time it is. So like a, him sound like a fool. But the numbers, them just tell you. And no time, a numbers. So in summary, me learn some things from this. Come in the Bible, look on the number thing with the clock. Say, and, and at the time a man tell me, I some number the man tell me, I just run with it and say, okay. At the time it is. No, is that number it is. <laughs> at some number it is. So you have to tell me, say, me can't learn from him because I'm a criminal. And that you have to tell me? No, 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 no. About four times I played the speech them already. Yeah. I learn from it. Is what I say? I learn from it. And I learn, say, once you elevate yourself to God's status, all fear is gone. Yeah. But you can stay there in your lower self and make people elevate themselves, stay in a God status and see how you go counter, how you go deal with them. You see? How you go stop them? Because you're at your lower self, filled with fear. Because every day, that's all them teach you, to be fearful, to be afraid, when you have nothing to fear about fear itself. And that's what I know. And that's what And of course, he pointed out some very important things. They may come off simple, no, because we point them out and you may go look upon them as they say are true. Like blood in the Hebrew, even at the Hebrew, um, 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 recordings. Zin, it has tell us blood means darkness and the face will cover over the deep mean presence. Maybe you can pick, start from there so and say, why? Him said that. And when I try to get that, I still I try to figure that out too. I have my um, assumptions, but this is not about assumptions. You see? Big up on yourself. You can do your own inference on this. This is just my inference. You see? And as I said, I learned something from Brother Blackman. You see? Yeah. Stop bow down to the, the reptile in the coat when you go in there. You see? Stop bow down to the snake. You see? Yeah. Boom. Have a great day.